great. We are back. I haven't done a Facebook Live in quite some time. There's so many other social media apps, so I like to make sure that I spend time on all of them. But um, I'm just going back through a lot of my content throughout the years and wanted to make sure I also come back to Facebook. Uh, but I am spending more time on fan base. So um, I wanted to have a chat, uh, depending on who comes in. I want love to talk about just more one-on-one, -on -one, as opposed to like, I'm just doing like content now about black Native Americans, American Indian chat. It's a simple chat right now. So if you wanna ping some people in, tag some friends, invite people to come in. Hi, hello. I've been having fun on TikTok. It's been a whole party. And then I had to get serious and did some YouTube. But along the way, I wanna let everybody know going forward, like my top three stories. Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass and all the amazing work she's doing with homelessness. Number two story is reparations. And number three, American Indian in no favorite particular order. So black Native Americans, what do you know? What do you think you know? Please comment because this really needs to get out. And you, my black people, the black people that think they came from Africa with no trace of it, you are the black Native American, American Indians. And... I would love to share with you my stories, um, how I grew up with this knowledge, didn't know how to apply it, didn't know what it meant. But I'm doing this for a particular reason because I got to move on to other stories and news. And I said I will take uh, my weekend time to do that. So, and it is Gemini season. Okay, we just come out of Taurus. So can Taurus like have a proper send off? <laughs> like, okay, but hi, hi Gemini. We 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 cousins. We touching. Okay, but can we can we stick with? Them? <laughs> All right, like we not. Look, I did what I had to do. So, Jim and I, it's on you. <laughs> Thank you. Please comment anything you think you heard. And let me actually invite people in. I never invite people in. Any African-sounding names, probably not going to get in right now. Um, and I never invite people in. I always get, but nope, y'all got to come on in. Come on in. And I hope everyone's doing well. And please, this is a great time for Q&A. So we uh, call this Black Native American, American Indian chat. Sometimes I have business chats, but maybe y'all not ready for that. But um, most people that think they're just Black African American, oh ye African Americans that are not just Africans, you are most likely, and let me help you figure that out. I wanna answer questions. I wanna be uh, a resource officer. And I really just wanna like connect our tribes, a lot of y'all, because, um, How's, who else we gonna do business with? Who else we gonna have fun with? Who else we gonna party with and and do all the amazing things? So <laughs> please ask questions. Um, for people that are adopted, it gets a little bit more complicated when we're talking about Black Native Americans. So just uh, be patient with me while we sort this out. But I always want to be a resource. And um, why wouldn't you want to rock with a sovereign nation when it comes to your family being sovereign people? Um, indigenous and what that means in terms of the world courts what that means on a local level we can do micro and macro over here so a lot of people are you know are not going to move on this they're going to drag their feet they're going to do the same thing when it comes time for reparations and whatever uh, for the people like oh we're never going to get reparations and I'm just like I'm just coming back for my the rest of my compensation we were oh we were definitely compensated don't get it twisted and ain't nobody give us any, no handouts. We have it. We, we work, fight, serve, support for ourselves. Ain't nobody wrote no legislation for us. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. So I love when I talk to the elders and they're starting to come out. Maybe, maybe the, the kids and the grandkids don't understand this right now. But when I'm speaking to elders, they're kind of like, well, let me tell you what I heard. Let me tell you what I know. And then it end up they parents. It ends up to come out and find out their parents are American Indians. So I'm just inviting people in right now. So please share the video and invite some people in. And let's see who's still, let's see, make sure Facebook is the best option. I'm trying to invite everybody. So yes, and I hate to even use color, but there's so much colorism that we have to say things like black Native American. So thank you for being on this journey with me. And that's why I like to stop along the way 
um, answer any inquiries or questions and help people that want to do this for their own self. Or maybe they just have some questions. And that's why it's important for the youth to stay connected to the elders. So, uh, I don't think this has really been brought to Facebook outside of maybe some groups. And I'm telling you, some of these groups be so crazy dangerous. But welcome. Welcome to those coming in, chiming in. Take a time to invite people. No point in going live and my people don't come in. So, um, black Native Americans, what do you think you know? Let's start there. What do you think you know? What have you heard in school? Or versus what your family has said? Please let me know in the chat. Please comment. And for some of my family, y'all need to come on in. Y'all need to come on in. Come on in. Don't make sense. I have all these family members. <laughs> all right. Great. Hi, hi. How are you? Hi. Oh, look at you. Somebody's verified. Somebody said they're still stuck. Can you please tell me more about what you're stuck on? This is information hotline. <laughs> information hotline. This is $10,000 worth of legal services. Professional. <laughs> You better get it while they're getting is good. Get it while they're getting is free. All gratis. <laughs> so what are you stuck on? This will be the time to try to get unstuck. You, you got to look for your family. What's up? What's up? What's up? We're talking about black Native Americans. Um, you may have seen these conversations more on TikTok and YouTube now, especially with Dane Calloway. The, with the black Native Americans, most people that have been described as African Americans since about the 1960s, let's talk about that. And some of the myths, some of the things people get mixed up and I mean, I, I advocate, I, I'm all for the information, but if you don't apply the knowledge, then to me, it doesn't matter. And what this means also for reparations. So hopefully I can answer some questions because Y'all gonna wake up and the deadline to have applied for reparations is gonna be gone. They not get, it's not like they're gonna just sit here and wait for you to, oh, I'm ready to admit that they owe me reparations. Anyway, we, we got bots for that. We, there's an app for that. Get it on your EBT card. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> nice to see you as well. So I'm just taking this time because. It probably won't make sense right now, but it's all coming together. Um, Black Native Americans, American Indians, people call African American mislabeled as colored, as black, as Negro, being Espanol. What that means. And all of the changing and the evidence. And I, I would not be just out here with no evidence. I, I think most of y'all know me. Um, so make sure you share the video with your network. It's amazing. And so we are sovereign, what this means. And we're talking about 1830s Midwest to their 1797, just getting to the East Coast, Baltimore and shit, South Carolina and whatever else is over there and all the Virginia and Maryland areas and what, what was it? It's like they, they did not hold it down. So a lot of times we got to go all the way back into the story. We got to go all the way back to, you know, alignment with the U.S. history and the American Revolutionary War, which they broke away from. So um, it seems to be when people say European, American, African, you're thinking you're not the first thing that comes to mind for a lot of these or even for African. They were trying to do it, but continent is too vast they try to do it through south africa and west africa. it just didn't work trying to white knight a whole planet um that's a lot of propaganda but when you actually do the numbers and you contact um or take into account the uncontacted tribes there's still uncontacted tribes in these americas it has been a minute why you say you're so seasoned yeah but the thing is is like everybody's on tiktok and you know tiktok doesn't just it, 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 tiktok's weird about that so TikTok may not be the best places for these conversations because it's too many kids and they can't even talk properly. You can't really share the type of information I'm trying to share. I probably should take it to OnlyFans, really. Um, this information is valuable, it's resourceful, and it's useful. And I just like talking about it. <laughs> I just got like 60 family members. And I'm, at, I'm up to 60 family members in Cherokee Nation now. Meaning they were African-American last year and Cherokee 
this year. <laughs> so that's a big feat. That is. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take. I'll take the applause. I'll take it myself. <laughs> So, yeah, um, but I'm still going to log it either way. Um, this information is setting to a lot of people. Um, whether you um, are interested in this information or not, I think it's worth looking into. Get in contact with your family. Um, talking to your elders. And while you're doing that, you're also um, just simultaneously, while you're checking into your American Indian records, you will also... Um, by the time you complete that, we'll be ready for what's next, which is reparations. You cannot talk about reparations to the American descendants of slavery without starting with the Native Americans. So you get your paperwork, get your Native American paperwork. A lot of y'all got Native American paperwork and you don't even know it. And that's frustrating. As, a, as somebody that works in, in public relations and media and communications, that is the ultimate disrespect. <laughs> I can't take it. So if somebody said they're stuck. They're sharing their story. Here we go. Uh, someone says, my family has always said our family was Choctaw from Bugalosa, Louisiana. Yeah, that's where they were. That's where the Choctaw were. Your family has always said the truth, what it was. But going on, they say, I keep hearing it's the Robinsons, but I can't find anyone on the dolls. Well, that's because the Choctaw was not trying to move. The Choctaw was like, no, we're not leaving. <laughs> They eventually, some of them eventually kind of broke away the treaties being remade. But for the most part, Choctaw was like, we good right here. <laughs> I always like to say Choctaw Chateau. Choctaw Chateau. Um, I have tracked my paternal side back to the 1800s, which is good. Okay, you have names and birthdays. That's good. But you can't find them on the Dolls Roll. That happens. And they probably, a lot of people got taken off the Dolls Rolls in order to become a U.S. citizen, which they eventually ended up calling you African. American. Mississippi, you are same thing with the Choctaw and Chickasaw. So my people, Louisiana as well. Um, well, the, the my family members that are Chickasaw um, branch off into Louisiana. My uh, grandfather being Kushata, my maternal grandfather. So I didn't go through his, but I got so many. Think about it, y'all. Y'all know me. Y'all know who I am. Think about it. If I got all these branches of... Bushada, Cherokee, uh, Muscogee Creek, Chickasha, and I don't have any charts, I don't think, but somebody said we do. <laughs> somebody looked a little bit further than what I was able to do. And the further you go back, you see other tribes being mixed in, tribes being displaced, war. So yes, that did actually make it to the civilians and actually killing the Indians. They were taking out tribes. This was going on in the 1800s. So no, all this slavery and bringing in Africans, I don't know about what they were doing over there, but I do know there were people that were being moved and I think a lot of y'all need to look. Now, this is the tricky part. I think I have the, I'm gonna show y'all a map because this map went viral on my TikTok. So we get the Cherokee, I'm gonna tear this part out. So basically uh, the Cherokee started in Georgia, in other words, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Okay, we get something here called the Cherokee Phoenix. I tear my address off. So, I don't know if this is the one with the maps, but that one went viral. And people were surprised that uh, all the American Indian lands were uh, the slavery, the black belt. All the, slave, all the slavery, all the places where the slave plantation, that's Native American. Those are Native American slave plantations. I didn't realize, I knew what it was important, that's why I shared it, but I did not realize it would go viral like that. You know, people steal it, so I really don't know my real numbers. But yes, does that help? Does that help? I gotta tear off all my addresses. I don't think this is... <laughs> I got so many, okay, so yeah, basically I put this map that showed all the slave plantations. Those are Native Americans. Show me some pictures of some uh, Asiatic Native American picking cotton. All the slave plants. Yeah, it's making sense now. It's starting. For some people, it's like, oh. For some people, it's like, oh. Yes. So thank you. Make sure you tag some people in. You share the video. Uh, and, and they probably will see it later. So I'm just trying to find that article. Yeah, that was pretty astonishing. We like to submit that. Somebody said we like to submit this piece of evidence that all the Native Americans that were enslaved were Georgia, Alabama. <laughs> so.
some of the Carolinas. I don't think I, I must have really put that somewhere really important and now I can't find it. So you're gonna have to check it out on my TikTok. So yeah, that was pretty astonishing. And people were like, whoa, what? So anyway, we get this called the Cherokee Phoenix. That's our, that's our paper. So it'd be news, but it'd be like information from like, it'd be information from like 1820. Great. I hope that makes sense. I hope the information, ooh, I hope the information I'm sharing makes sense. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so basically, um, you can check out my TikTok. It's called Cherokee Maps. And we were noting that the Black Belt is Native American land. What we call the Black Belt. So you, so while you're going to be doing your Native American, I don't know why nobody's really talking about While you're doing your Native American, you're also going to be digging up files that will help you in the long run. So I don't know how else to say this in advance. Um, I don't know why our top people are not talking about this, top officials, but you'll see it and they'll be there at the ribbon cutting and they'll be clapping and cheering each other on. And I'll, I, hopefully I'll be covering that. That that's the new black belt. Well, I'm talking about W. B. Du Bois, his, his black belt, what he describes as the most fertile land, and that's where they were doing slavery. So some people were like, nah, hell to the nah, to the nah, 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 we out. And some people was like, hell to the nah, to nah, 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 we staying. <laughs> but either way, it was hell to the nah. <laughs> so again, another um, the same person saying, so being as many of my Choctaw ancestors, now, I think didn't we find. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't I already find your child? I, didn't I already work on yours? You, you, we, we do the research. You get the information right then and there. And you saw you. Were you the one whose family member had? You literally saw the. They crossed the line out. Did didn't we? Didn't we find something? Was that not you? Was that somebody else I was working on? Did we not find? And then somebody in your family said, "Nah, she not. That's not right." And I'm like, "Well, whatever." I got close enough just off of the basic information you gave me. And then they try to explain all the discrepancies. And I'm like, but you got the document. <laughs> Was that you? I got it. I'm talking. To, okay. No, not you, Robert. No, no, not you. Jasmine. So being as many of your Choctaw ancestors never left, should you begin looking elsewhere? You no, know, you need to look in Louisiana's historical archives. And Oklahoma's got the best records because that's what the point of, because they did not leave, they did not get on the dolls roll. The people that did not, I feel like we do. And then eventually the Choctaw got on. So we, I think we found your Choctaw, but we, the thing is we found your Choctaw document. Did we not, Jasmine? We found the document. Like, I don't know. I, I deal with a lot of people in different cases, so please correct me, but we found the document. It was something like Kelly or something we were getting grandparents mixed up but you know but if i was able to dig in and find that and you're saying oh what discrepancy yeah there's gonna be a lot of discrepancies so thank you please um anybody have any questions like i thought we went through that so you're saying search for another tribe you could you could definitely but you want to check in with the state of louisiana you want to get into their archives you want to get into their records you might suck. You gonna find have to find out. This is the thing y'all don't realize. There's so all of your family's records for the most part, a big chunk of it, the stuff that you cannot find because you're looking in some African American files that don't exist. Your ancient, most ancient, as far back as you can go, ancestors most likely got records in American Indians. <laughs> Wherever there was slavery, that was the American Indian. And, so, and I said, people had a choice. I don't know why they told you your ancestors didn't have a choice. Some of y'all ancestors was like, nah, we ain't going nowhere. I, don't, I just don't know how else to say that. I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm speaking English. So you said the Varnados and the Johns own your Native American family uh, in Varnado, Louisiana, which is right by Bogalusa. Yes. Welcome to those that are joining in. We are discussing Black Native American um, and digging into your family records, speaking to your elders, because you're going to need that. Once you finish that and you climb that mountain, now 
you won't have to worry so much about the reparations because you'll have the exact states that your ancestors were in in the 1860s. And some of y'all not going to be able to go that far back, but for those, find out which state your ancestors were in in 1865, 1863, and then the 1860s. Hey, what's up, brother? We're talking about American Indian stuff. How are you? My brother is Indian on his mother and his father's side. <laughs> so welcome, brother. My brother, we, tr we, we working on his, and, and, and this is Texas, baby. We working on his, for our mother, our, our lovely mother, but his father is my lovely brother, a Colbert. <laughs> and that's French. But then you go a little bit further to our grandmother, and she's French Indian. So you, now you see. But if you keep erasing us out of the story because of our skin color, then you're going to always be confused. And you're going to always default to those that have no melanin, the melanin deficiencies. You'll always refer to them as indigenous. And now you got Columbus and his homeboys and descendants and great grands telling people that Columbus isn't the indigenous. The people that look like Columbus are now saying that they're indigenous. That's a fucking problem. Even the soil black and brown, I know. WB the boy. Yes, I knew that was you. Yes, you worked as you worked on your maternal side. Your cousin confused the F out of you on uh, your mom's side. Duh. Duh, because they don't get it either. Don't please don't. I'm gonna ask anybody, please don't work with a genealogist and argue with their work. First and foremost, really, I don't care. You hire a genealogist, an ancestrologist, I'm gonna call it now. And then we find the information. You think Angela Davis was going to sit there and argue with Henry Louise Gates after she found out her activist self uh, ancestors came in on the Mayflower and not slave ships? <laughs> and nobody wants to talk about the black Europeans. Henry Louise Gates gets it. So, <laughs> and he, he, he said, my family crazy. They think they all Cherokee. So Henry Louise Gates, who does Finding My Roots and Who Do You Think You Are? Henry Louise Gates, who does ancestry and genealogy, like he's going back. You can talk all you want about fairy tale landia, but when we got documents, when we have actual evidence and certification and registered with the state and filed, at least it's better better than what a lot of y'all pulling up. So for one, that kind of insults my work because I found a document using my resource, my research tools, and then you give it to some family member. That's why you confused. That's why you ain't where you're supposed to be with this information. I'll give it, you take it back, and it's all... Da, 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 da. They, if they knew, they would be where I am today in somebody's nation. And Choctaw, and, and y'all gonna have to really activate because my family doing all the work. <laughs> Shit, my family doing all the work. Other, other uh, black Native Americans, black uh, American Indians doing all the work. To make it easier for y'all but nobody's really stopping to do the quality control in the customer service so if i find the document that's what it is i mean you can mix it up and say it was somebody's grandma was somebody's grandpa cousin that shit was happening in our families okay so deal like i found a i found a whole document like in, in like 30 minutes like in an hour because i have powerful research tools and I found it. And I don't care if y'all got y'all dates mixed up. It happens all the time. People be thinking one family member lives here and they really live in a whole other state. People, that happened. Records got mixed up. Record taken in the United States is fairly new. It really didn't happen until like birth certificates in 1910 something. So recessiveness comes from dominant genes. Yes, it's a variant. It's a variant. <laughs> Please share the video, um, tag your people in. I appreciate you coming in, chatting with me. She said, yes, LOL, that was me. We worked on my maternal side, like I said. Um, my cousin confused the F out of you on your mom's side. He was saying so many people on Century put those relatives that you, that I had you look into their trips, grandparents, but they were the wrong people. No, I ain't, uh, I still don't think so. Mm -mm. See, my, that was my natural reaction. Mm-mm. And they call cousins. No, no, no. People, some family members are closer to this side. And this side got the accurate information. This one's 
on erroneous information. If I can come in and find your Choctaw file like that, I know these are common names, but I don't I don't fuck around with that. When I when I, I look at who said they was married, what they said, and I look at marriage names, I look at address, I look at no, I no no sorry, don't. Yeah, that, that family member's fucked up. And so, sorry. You want to know what's funny? After we done plugged everything on Ancestry.com, then here goes my uncle with a treasure trove of information. Like, here's a family tree. Well, that would have been helpful about two years ago. Oh, yeah. My grandma, her son, she had gave it to her son. Here, keep this information. Make sure we don't lose it. This is how I have. And this explains the whole story right there. Kids, cousins, you gotta understand there was cousins, there was brothers, there was aunts, there was grandchildren. Everybody's plugging in information right now. So it's a thread. These threads don't vary. I mean, I mean, we we cross checking with addresses, states, how this yeah, but this one this connects to this city and this one is in the city. And how did it end up in this city? Da, 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 da. It's just only so much. Like, you gotta check, like cross verify, like you can't be like, oh, yeah, this one was born here, but this one's... In. No, it's just not how it works. It's just with the dates. And, and, I, and I get it. There's people who... But no, I check relatives. I check house, head of household. No, I'm not doing that. I do... I, you're not going to have me having down in my work. I check siblings. I check uh, cousins. Uh, and and y'all can continue to go deeper, but at the end of the day, you got a Choctaw file. And it got family members' names, grandparents, same names. This is too much of a coincidence. We're not doing that. Um, so I back up and went back to work on your paternal side. You're going to stick to looking at LA's archives, please do. Y'all need to start getting some addresses. And you in Kansas City, so you can probably check some files. But you need to find out where the Choctaw files are because I got some Cherokee files in uh, Dallas Fort Worth. And then our Muskogee files are probably one well, of the Muskogees in Dallas Fort Worth. And I think the Cherokees. They be having it like in Lenexa, so Lenexa, Kansas. Our files are all over the, like the United States. So I gotta first. It's so much work. Like I'm in the nation, and because now I'm in the nation, now I can do certain things. I got my Indian number, so now I can go deeper. So now I can go and unlock. But before we even do that, once I say, hey, I want to go into like all the FBI is probably like CIA shit and going to all the national archives and all this information and presidential shit and department of war. Like the fact that I even have to go, like I have to like really detox if I'm going to go into the department of war to find black native American and American Indian files. So you know, it's, it's, you just need to trust what you're fine, your findings. Yes, I, I found the truth, and now I have to verify the truth, and that's going to be a doozy for anyone. Yes. Um, if the sun burn out, what color does it change? Oh, we won't be around. When the sun is ready to expire, that is so, like, what? Is, was it, is, is this one projected to be a supernova? I think this one is going to psh, out. So don't, when this sun is ready to die, it's gonna explode first. And you're, you're fairly close to that explosion. So when our sun is ready, we're going out with it. I don't know why people think like the sun is just gonna die out, like unless it's just gonna collapse into a white dwarf, but it still has this massive blah on it. It has, before it does this deep contraction, it's gonna, really are we going to astrophysics? So we're back. Black Native Americans. Or when a volcano erupts, what color are the songs? Uh, obsidian. Black and gold. Obsidian. <laughs> so uh, just, let's stay on the planet. Like, can we keep it in the physical realm on Taurus? <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, so this uh, information is very upsetting, and I want to go live on TikTok about it. I will when the time is right. Look, I'm trying to own these filters. <laughs> oh, so fun. So fun. I love it. I love it. Great, and we're back, and we're still here, and I'm taking this time on Sunday because I'm wrapping my head around it, too, and I'm just like, I... It's very hard for me to continue on in my discussions with reparations when I'm like, 
<laughs> we gotta take care of the Native American stuff first. So you said black and gold are your energy colors. Oh yeah, you did say that. Yeah, that you see. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I remember I was just thinking about that probably last week. I was like, she had that whole, or so, cause I see your group still when I'm like searching the groups and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that whole color thing, that was very powerful. That information was very helpful. So yes, I probably do radiate some um, uh, deep carbon and um, copper energy with probably some gold undertones maybe. I'm looking here now. I didn't went and added some lilac. I was like, it's too much brown and not enough lilac Cause to let you know, Lila Brown reporting live. Um, I'm, I'm gonna always do these videos because people check out my content. They wanna know a little bit more about who I am. And so I wanted to make sure that I stop and let you know I'm all about the information. And I just got so much to celebrate right now. So before I head to my celebration, conk out. And also I'm doing this live. It's a Sunday night. So whenever you're watching this right now on this live, it's a Sunday night and people trying to get Monday started like Sunday. And I'm like, pause, prep. Yes, I'm all for it, but we're going to do We're going to handle Monday on Monday. Like people trying to get the work we started already. It's like so much going on. So most likely my next broadcast will focus on reparations. I'm just kind of like preparing y'all. I would love for you all to tune in. These are special reports. Um, this information is well funded. This information is well delivered and well presented. Uh, it's fact checked. It's evidence. And so y'all probably going to be looking like Jasmine again. If you would stop and listen and realize that you digging this far into your family's files and they've never done anything like this, you're already set up for reparations. <laughs> That's the point of all this. People that listen to me, like take my advice, congratulations. Whatever it is you know about your family. This Indian stuff is going to get real crazy. Um, that, that's, we, honey, you got to go to, y'all going to have to go to the Supreme Court like we did. So you're getting there. You're getting there, but it's being argued. Do we have the proper people in place? Do we have the proper representatives? We will see and we will get there. But you've done your reparations. You've done your, your um, investigation for reparations. So does anybody else have any questions? What's up? All right, let's see. I just want to give a shout out to all the people that did tune in. Jasmine Gant was first here. Robert, Ra, Kepper Haru came through. Antonio Hall, what's up? Janae Patton, Wilbur Hartsfield, what's up? Shout outs. I'm doing shout outs right now. Wesley Griffin, what's up? Not sure who's still here, but um, God can be boy. Um, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the ask questions. If you even just want to learn for the history books. We also had Amaru. Bahrain Ali, my brother checked in, um, and King G Holders here, Robert Jones, and Abed Demiuga. Um, Kiara is here! <laughs> hey! hey! <laughs> I see you now. So we're talking about it. Black Native Americans, American Indians, what do you know? What do you think you know? And how can we help you? And I'm trying to find this map because I was on the TikTok. And I shared some information. I shared information uh, on a map. <laughs> the Cherokee essentially put out a map of uh, the Native American slave areas. And it was all the places y'all grew up. <laughs> and I think everybody looked at that map like, these are the Native American slave plantations. Right there where my grandmama grew up. <laughs> and, and, and they called it the Indian Black Belt. Here it is. I know, I said, it's got to be here. It was the ancestors wanted me to, I guess they was waiting on somebody. Indian, why was it like that? All right, this is a map. So let's see if I can, if we could just focus in on this. And maybe I'll switch it. And somebody wants to come in? Oh, do you want to come in? Is that, I just want to make sure. Yeah, Oklahoma? Is that, are you saying, okay? Yeah, so let me make sure. If y'all want to come in, just yeah, let me know. But I want to share this. And I want to share it in a way where it's, uh, the information is coming out. I'm on the right side so you can read it. Okay.
Indian removal and the Southern Black Belt. And even still, I wanna fuck that too. Even still, don't even focus on that. They ain't even, they ain't even the concern right now. This is it. This is the slave population of the Native Americans. So I'm, I'm telling y'all to get your Native Americans because you ain't getting no reparation without Native American stuff first. And I need y'all to, this is where the Native Americans were enslaved. Now, have y'all ever seen a Pocahontas Asiatic enslaved and, uh, and, and work in the black belt of the American South in the cotton fields? Have you, tell me, have y'all seen that? The good thing about this, I can kind of go through this. I can kind of fold this newspaper up and do what I want for educational purposes because my sister has the same one. So I'm gonna be like, girl, can you give me your, can you give me your April 3rd? Can you give me your April 3rd? <laughs> With that one, this needs to be in a museum. Like now that I had to fold it all up so y'all can see this. This is where the, this is where Indian removal started. Before they told the Indians to go on the Trail of Tears, this is where it started in the slave. And I want you to see the slave plantations. Maybe we need to come in a little bit more here. 1830, 1830. Great question, thanks for asking. So in the 1830, 30 years before the Emancipation Proclamation, this is where, this is where the, the plantation were and the Indians were told to, they gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> get the fuck out or be enslaved be lynched get the what you think all this terrorism is about that's the crazy part about this people just really think this is all about skin color no this is not happening no this is and i want you to maybe i need to go a little bit more here look familiar does this map look familiar to anybody and i'm trying to get a place where y'all can just kind of study it Great. So think about where your grandparents are from. Then you probably think about where your grandparents' grandparents are from. Notice all those free states. Notice some of those areas that were not enslaved. That, even like if you think about Atlanta, Georgia, that was Muskogee. So I'm gonna read this passage like I did. Okay. I'm gonna read this for y'all. Trying to just keep this. And this is the Southern Black Belt. And hopefully this makes sense for y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna read this passage. It says, <laughs> trying to do it because the camera reversed. So interesting. All right, so we're gonna get into this reading. <laughs> Woo! That music for the healing. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. So, where your ancestors was from? Well, this is the Indian removal. All right, let's make it make sense. Here we go. <laughs> The removal of Native American tribes from their southeastern lands was not inevitable. At one point, Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Ross believed that there was a real chance for indigenous people to retain at least a part of their homelands east of the Mississippi River. Okay. In a recent presentation to the Trail of Tears Association, one of the professors from the University of Georgia asked the question, if removal wasn't inevitable, then why did it happen? And why specifically did politicians and Georgian politicians target Cherokees so directly in the 1830s? Okay, why? What was all this about? Okay. Here's a passage about the the black belt so even today there is still this crescent of very dark fertile soil that arcs across georgia alabama and mississippi that we call the black belt or the black prairie oh so the darker tones are just known as the population that's a population count so this is an army map, actually, because this is I keep telling you all of our records over the Department of War. So I'm putting it together and then I'm reading this news, new information, news from 1830. 
So I'll read for you the caption. An army map from 1850 or 1860, actually. 1860 shows the slave population in southern states. The darker colors indicate larger populations of slaves. These are, yeah, slave plantation. The map can also be used to show the so-called black belt or the black prairie stretching from South Carolina through Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi. This band of fertile soil was occupied by native tribes and was highly coveted by white cotton growers. All right. So for my people, when they see this map and they see the pop state population in relation to American Indians, we're like, what is this about? Why are the Cherokee talking about slavery? <laughs> why is the Cherokee? Why did forced removals happen? At the heart of why the removals happened was to expand slavery and cotton production across the South. Spectators spoke uh, ecstatically about the potential for profits from growing cotton in Mississippi. I think I heard some people say Mississippi out there. In Mississippi, one spectacular estimate slaves could produce 15,000 pounds of cotton per acre. Okay. So in 1850, 230,000 enslaved people toiled in Mississippi and Alabama on lands that barely a decade earlier had belonged. Y'all, 10 years before the Civil War, that land belonged to the Native Americans. What y'all think all this warfare was about and enslaving people prisoners of war? This is the, the Native American slave population land in the 1830s. The slave population. It's American Indian land. This is the Black Belt. And again, this headline is telling us here, Indian removal. And the Southern Black Belt. And like I said, I didn't know I had to explain what the Black Belt was, but yes, it's very fertile soil. So think about this. So why persist to the point of threatening a civil war? That's what Georgia representatives are asking in the spring of 1838. <laughs> Why do we need the Civil War? They said if the Cherokees were not kicked out at gunpoint, that Georgia was willing to go to war with the federal government. The Civil War was about American Indians and Cherokees being kicked out. That's why so much happened in Georgia. That was one of it. Georgia, so everybody was like, the states are breaking away. And Georgia, what say you? And Georgia said, we will go to war with you just over the Cherokee, kicking them out. And it happened. And the federal government sided with them. So why persist? The answer, uh, Cherokee Nation is saying, is white supremacy. White Southerners wanted to be absolute masters of every single square foot of land in the states. They didn't care about no reservations. But they also wanted to be absolute masters of every single person who lived in those states. Masters of their wives, their children, and their enslaved people who labored on their lands. They didn't even know what cotton was. They didn't even know where it was sourced from. They didn't know about a peach. They didn't know about corn. They didn't know anything. And 10 years before the Civil War, that land belonged to the American Indians. Do tell. In short, the cause of white supremacy and indigenous dispossession of their lands were deeply and inextricably intertwined. It was the American Indians that were enslaved. Moment of silence. So yes, a lot of people will be taking this issue to court. A lot of people realize, is that what slavery was about? That's why I need your account, Kiori, on TikTok. I didn't even get, I, can't, I couldn't show Renaissance art, some of the most beautiful artwork. I can't show that. Dang, that did me in. Sounds like this article may have been written by American Indian writer. It's, yeah, it's the Cherokee Phoenix. Yeah, this is our newspaper. 
you can't get this newspaper just sent to you. They send it to Cherokee Cherokee households. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what Cherokee Nation said. Yep. Osio Ganali Wando. You can tell. So when we but you have to do that all the time when you're doing history. You can't check that side. You this side lied. You think the lies just stop? They were telling lies and convincing people and propaganda. The truth is just standing right there. So always err on the side of truth. So again, the Native Americans were the ones enslaved. Not these Asiatic Mexicans you see. They started slavery through Spanish Florida. And that's a whole oof. Do we want to talk about Florida and why y'all don't know that? DeSantis? Anybody? These are the slave population. This is American Indians. Black English. Creole. Anybody that was black. Anybody that was black, they were trying to figure out laws. So how can we put them in slavery? Take their lands. Take their homes. Take their wealth. Take their education advances. Take their technology. Take their ideas. Take their blueprints. Take their patents. Take their mansions. So you think they just stop? Oh, you're you're black and you're wealthy. We're not gonna enslave you. You're yes. Part of slavery was taking your. Well, this is war. It was terrorism. This is 1830. We still some of we st I, some people still dress like 1830. Pants, boots, blouse. <laughs> I, they, we had to dress up my my baby boy nephew for a school play in which he was Christmas addict. And y'all get this. So the kids in out here in California. We still doing critical race theory, I guess I don't know. So my nephew was playing Christmas Addicts. And I said, baby boy, that's amazing. I went to Christmas Addicts Elementary School for mass communications, journalism. And I said, you the only black kid in school and you get to play Christmas Addicts. You, what a fucking coincidence. You're the only black, you're the only black kid in the, in the whole grade level. And um, they got you playing Christmas Addicts. So I said, well, what do you have to say in part of your, your uh, school play? And I got the video. I'm going to be sharing it. Don't worry. He said, I'm Christmas Addicts. And this is he's before the play. He's reading it to me. And I'm an African-American. <laughs> Scratch. Wicked, wicked, wicked. I said, baby boy, Christmas Addicts was Native American. The, a black man, the first person killed in the American Revolutionary War, blacked out. Black you out. That was the sh literally the shot heard around the world. Not the first, not the first uh, uh, shot in the American Revolutionary War. We already told you on my last TikTok that Paul Revere did not run through the streets talking about the British are coming, the British are coming. That did not happen either. Christmas Addis was working the docks. They was constantly trying to enslave him. The Native Americans were the ones enslaved. The slave population. That's Indian land. That's Indian territory. Whew. I don't know how else to explain this to y'all. Look, this is the expulsion of Native American tribes, all right? This is the expulsion. They don't like Native Americans. They don't like you. Put it together. The law, the law itself passed by Congress merely gave the president the authority to negotiate to exchange federal lands because, remember, these same tribes had uh, treaties with uh, and understandings with the king of england okay so they like who is y'all how y'all just gonna break away from wait wait, wait. how y'all just gonna betray y'all king like that Let, let's bring this to some modern sense we was wait 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 we was 40 50 100 years ago we was doing business with you and your king and then y'all broke away from y'all y'all betrayed y'all own king what kind of people are y'all friends y'all breaking away Spain, y'all also, all y'all just come over here. Y'all really must hate Europe. No, we're going to enforce European centric ideas on you. That ain't Eurocentric. Shonda Rhimes is more Eurocentric than any of that shit they talking about. So again, Andrew Jackson. And it is so. Andrew Jackson threatened and coerced native leaders to sign treaties ceding lands. Often by making the situation so untenable man those contracts were bad deals somebody needs to go back and look at that our reparations we're going to 1830 they could remain where they were they were starving to death or taking a chance walking hundreds of miles 
through hostile communities to distant and unknown lands in the West. But even after the formal settlement of these treaties, individual families had to be forced out of their homes. An army of federal officers, unscrupulous speculators, and even eventually actual soldiers did the job. The dispossession, dispossession being a key word here, was swift and it was brutal. Creek people then <laughs> were um, impersonated to obtain title. Y'all keep calling them pretendians. Y'all, people took on our identities. We, do, we are not wearing slave owners' last name. They're wearing our name. They're playing as us to get American Indian benefits. So yes, there's going to be some confusion in your family records. They're playing with your lineage. They're wearing, it's, it's the signs of the lambs. They're wearing your skin. They chained the creeks in a house and beat them until they put their marks on paper. Vast quantities of land changed hands in this way. In fact, some 2 million acres in the Creek Nation alone. Pause for a moment of silence. So what they did to your ancestors, um, remember the KKK was lynching people. They, that, that, all that was over land. That's the $5 Indian. Again. This is hard to read, y'all. This is why I could This is why I'm breaking it up. That's the slave population. That's Native American territory. That's the, this is the point of where the Indians were removed from, or dispossessed, or enslaved, or beaten. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I can't. I can't even. So you get up and go do a good job in corporate America tomorrow and let all you overachievers and overworked and underpaid, um, you can't get with this message, sorry for you. Well, it'll just be 12 of us and times that by, I guess, a few dozen other families. It'll be a few hundred of us then. You either gonna get this and, and get it done because I'm telling you, I'm telling you how they did my ancestors. You only gonna have a finite time to apply for reparations and ain't nobody sitting around. They might give you 10 to 20 years. I know people that have been waiting 20 years to get their documents together. They might give y'all 20 years and then they might let the tail end of y'all come in five years after that for some type of courtesy. But once we get these reparations, that's it. You gonna have to prove that you had an ancestor on this continent that was listed as black or some other heinous name they gave us in 1860. So it don't make no sense to be on anybody's argument with no documents that you have no documentation. All right. They was over here accounting. The people that got, that took our documentation and evidence and information and took our numbers and names and addresses, they owe us. It's all documented. So no, I'm going to tell you right here and now, my ancestors did not sell the land to you. You beat people. You, you put them in chains. You enslaved people. You lynched head of households until they signed it over. And you let them live in the house that they were in and they were in extreme poverty. And some starved to death. They would probably have starved to death today if it wasn't for EBT. It's on the census. All of this. He says, so if the American Indians are going to be no, they're not going, they're, they are, we're not going to be, we are. This is already, the United States and the Biden administration is so on board with this. Just because you don't recognize our tribal sovereignty, Great Britain never recognized the Declaration of Independence. So we, we, we want, do we want to talk about what's recognized? The United States is not, is a de facto government. They're just doing things. They're doing things that people work for to make this fantasy a reality. Okay, so if we want to talk about federally recognized, first and foremost, Great Britain never formally recognized the Declaration of Independence. So why don't we just go out there then and start doing a Declaration of Indigenous Rights? It's UNDRIP, the United Nations Declaration for the Rights of Indigenous People. So he's speaking hypothetically for something that exists, and it's just so weird to me. Like, it's in the Constitution, uh, treaties money flowing once they let my once they let the real cherokees in then the united states government start awarding cherokee nation 360 million dollars for this all of a sudden cherokee nation getting all this fucking money all this money all this money's coming through cherokee nation getting all this money all this money coming through because they finally stopped playing with us and let the real cherokee in so now the federal government's like thank you the fake documents ain't working that fraud 
if you want actual real wealth, that shit, that paper money that y'all doing, we got oil and gold reserves. Reserves, okay? Reservations, okay? So this is not a joke. This is not a game. So everybody else, I don't know what they talking to y'all about, about when it comes to reparations, but they are so off. Um, then they were forced to leave those lands so the Southerners could use slave labor of... No. These people did not leave. A few of them walked, but then they stopped in Alabama, which is another slave state. Georgian Cherokee did not make it to Oklahoma. Louisiana and Mississippi, it took them even longer. It took some people years to walk. Some people just said, I'm sick of walking. We're going to plant right here. And they never made it to the doll's roll. That happened for a lot. Of Georgian Cherokees got to Alabama. That was the state line. And then that was it. But Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi is all one area. That's all King George's land. That's King George's state. And then all of a sudden, here come Louisiana with King Louis. What is Alabama? What, what language is that? What language is Al 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 Alabama? What language is Mississippi? What language is George for King Georgia? <laughs> Georgie. So, yes. So, all the stuff they're doing to us is not about skin color. It's about indigenous versus colonization. So, the Southerners could use sailor of the black people, meaning either die or be black and slave with no civil rights. Black only means you have no civil rights. You're not recognized as a citizen. A color means you're not a citizen. So when you call yourself white, you're actually acting above the law. But a color is not a nationality. You, nobody goes around the world saying, I'm yellow. I'm brown. There, and when you put out an application for people that said they're brown people of color, where on the application does it say, it says black or African? We're not that. We're American Indian. And where are other colors listed? White, Caucasian, okay. Where's brown? Now tell me where's brown. Tell me where's redskins. Where has redskin ever been on the application? So black means you have no civil rights. You can be killed with impunity because it's part of the Indian removal. Your death and genocide by African Americans of 1860 your death was all over Indian removal, indigenous, black European, uh, even in there. Um, they were being captured because their loyalty to Great Britain. It was all kind of factors. Every family did not have the same story. Every community, every city, every city, every county, every township, every village, every fort, every settlement, had its own families, laws, and these people they were not always connected. It wasn't until speeding up transportation with the railroads and then airplanes that people started to live wherever they wanted to. And as you can see, now people live all over the world wherever they want to. So it's so idiotic for anybody who says, you can't come to this country. If I got a plane ticket and flew to Montana, you mean to tell me the Mexicans can't see they, they they the reason they don't like the what's happening at the US border is because those are poor people. But the wealthy Mexicans come over all the time, no problem. So it's just a case of rich versus poor. That's that's I mean, these are all just the damaging effects of capitalism. So that's why we gotta keep the message going on TikTok. So we will get there content is doing good if anybody wants to come in we got jasmine kiori robert what do you think about the information presented today um you can hit me up anytime to talk about it so whether you're listening live or later i definitely appreciate you thank you so much for tuning in um and and it's too deep for most people to comprehend because i gotta talk about louisiana i gotta talk about georgia i gotta talk about my family i gotta talk about your family and they still, it's like, it's still a little bit of skepticism. You, you, you kind of catch that? Still a little bit of skepticism. Still a little bit of disbelief. You can't even take my story for it. And so then I give you the general, they can't take the, the macro uh, specific story. They can't take the general story. They just can't take it. And it's enough of that. We are mighty. We need to get our numbers together because the numbers that they've given are skewed. 
So numerologists, statisticians, researchers, uh, methodologists, all of you, come on, get on board. You social scientists, we got news information too, but it's not well funded by the institution. So because of that, you pretty much just take our word for it. The Africans that are currently in Africa know that we're not the same people as them. They know that. They know we're not the same people. They know we don't have the same ancestors. I ask, I ask the Africans all the time, where were your people in 1830? I, I just, I'm asking for a friend. It's so necessary to hear our history, says Jasmine, and how they stole our land, but it is so hard to hear. I know they haven't cognitive dissonance. This is why you homeschool, because they never teach the truth. So you're going to have to listen. It's going to have to be all peer-based. And so because people don't really pay attention to the news and what's going on, they're listening to a lot of conspiracy theories, but the conspiracy theories, their information never checks out. So they don't win court cases. They don't win uh, in, in anything. Their leaders are in jail, being withheld. Like, it's just ridiculous. So, um, I'm still watching for the rise of the Moors to see what happens with their case. Uh, I want, I want, that's going to be a case study. It's going to be a case study because a lot of people be talking that sovereign stuff, but when it's time to present it in court, they have nothing to show for it. And so it doesn't really work. So I have to be careful when I'm on, um, land reservation, according to the 1838 treaty, of New Echota coming out of Georgia, like which moves the Cherokee headquarters from Georgia to Oklahoma. The Cherokee headquarters used to be in Georgia. What's up with that? You know what I'm saying? So, so we gotta deal with so much. Like we gotta repair and learn and discover and observe and experiment and test and test again and then verify and re-verify. And then edit, revise. <laughs> She's what we thought we knew. Okay, back to the drawing board. And then make sense out of it. And then actually do something about it. And there is such thing as tribal enrollment. People don't want to talk about that. And what that means. And guess what? You don't have to. Because I'll lead the way. And I, will, I want to be compensated handsomely for my work. This is genius. And when people stop pussyfooting and stop trying to be politically correct, I can be as harsh as I want to with this information. And I don't have to throw out slurs. It is what it is. It is science. It is fact-based, evidence-checked, verified, re-verified, tested and retested. So these are the people going around calling their ancestors Neanderthals in documentaries for like National Geographic and BBC documentaries and time. And that propaganda is powerful. And then here comes the, the truth and the truth can't even get no funding because they gotta keep up the lie. They gotta continue to perpetuate the false and fake news. So white supremacy is fake news. I guess that would be my, my master point. So I'm happy I can answer any questions. Um, and hopefully we keep this information going um, and we will stop here because I want to do a report where I can just do like the screen share and show some more of this but reparations is happening at the same time all this stuff is happening with American Indians and then for the Choctaw and Chickasha y'all got an uphill battle but you're going to be okay because people are looking out and then with the Muscogee Creek I have somebody just reminded me they were like are you really somebody just asked me I'm speaking to a very important Cherokee member and they said is your family such and such such and such and I was like oh that is my family oh shit so that family member is about to make sure that we get in that's my family that's my family so I only thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to them about is Cherokee Creek. The Cherokee and the Creek need to be able to do dual citizenship. So I want my reparations from Muscogee Nation too. They trying to make it seem like, oh, you can only go be Cherokee. I gotta go do multiple tribes. And that's where we are right now. So thank you to those coming in um, with this information. Black Native American, American Indian. If you haven't heard this information, share the video. 
I'm most likely going to share this to some black indigenous groups. And maybe the next time I do this, I go live. You guys are here with me. Um, and we can get these uh, these room numbers up. I could probably do this in the rooms, but I just kind of like to do it on my own personal to manage it because dealing with the trolls. But whatever, we should definitely probably go. I probably should. I wish there was. I wish there was a way I could share it to the groups, but I'll I'll figure that out next time. Okay. I'm gonna ask a question here. Have you heard about um, your family um, being native? And I want to do a poll. Uh, and or uh, American Indian. People, some people say, we're not in. I'm American Indian. <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it up for a while. Has anybody, your elders... All right, launch it. Is it here? Is it <laughs> TikTok? Yeah, I can't go on TikTok live. Um, my my research is too raw and uh, adult themes and content um, that cannot. It's not. It can't be PC. There's no nice way to tell it, especially when you start talking about uh, sex trafficking and things like that. So hopefully we'll get that cleared up with TikTok. And um, I think some we have some allies in Congress that's going to make sure that they do right by um, melanated people on TikTok and the ways that our voices are stifled and suppressed. And um, hopefully we can get that done. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? I appreciate y'all all. Um, tuning in and, and with your questions and I think that information is pretty deep I think it's powerful and I always want to just come back and you know just talk about what I I know and what we pretty much have been able to kind of get done but there's more work and but it's 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 like the it's like the top it's like the it's like the top of a mountain like of a pyramid like it's the capstone so you know we're we're at the top but we just got to really put the icing on the cake that and that's just how i am like i can't just stop and i'm like this is 150 200 years of history so does that make sense yeah the apex <laughs> yes the spire great 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 so i try to uh, take this i'll probably end up taking this same message I like to just be consistent with my message. And I don't mind saying the same thing over and over on different platforms because it needs to be said there. It will be said. And yes, uh, to the people that this, this information is disturbing, um, they end up trying to dox me, but it just really helps my numbers. Uh, people try to harass, um, intimidate from this information, but they're just being like, they just proven that they're the, they're the um, white supremacists. A lot of these people are the descendants of white supremacists. And um, they just don't like melanated people. That's all it is. And so now you see it's the Spaniards. It's the Spaniards that did this slavery. It's the Spaniards coming in from King uh, Philip's people. Yes, I am on the job. And yeah, this guy started making sense. So make sure when I am live, you give stars, you give likes, you comment, you give... you. Where's the hearts? What happened to the hearts? When you give the video a lot of hearts, it helps other people in the network uh, see it. So when I send an invitation, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. When I send an invitation, make sure that you tune in and maybe we can get some of your questions answered live. Yes, I, I, I really do like you guys' comment. I wanna pin that one. Um, yeah, you guys want everyone come on and do a Q&A. Thank you. Thank you. You said, what do you do? What is it? What do you mean? Oh, that's what you do? Oh, you do? Oh, you do. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, because more people need to know that we're live. And this information is hopefully dispelling a lot of the myths. It's it, I give a lot of information, but hopefully it'll help connect some dots to the bigger piece to the puzzle that you guys are doing on your own. Maybe you're seeing other things around the internet. So that's why I was always asking like, 
what do you know? What do you think you know? And I, I think that when it comes to black Native Americans, American Indians, what our people have always had to do is put all their information together. Put the information together, make sense out of it, and I hope my story can inspire you. I hope some of the positive changes that we're making can also inspire you. So what's up, Daniel? Anyone tuning in? We're talking about it, and the poll is essentially asking... Um, what do you think you know about Native Americans? What have you heard? And finally, I, I guess the best way to kind of, you know, wrap up that question is what have you heard um, from members of your own family, from maybe some of your elders? Yes. I don't. I probably don't. But you can feel free to DM me. I, you know, because, you know, sometimes I get confused and maybe, I don't know, some personal information, but I'm sorry, I don't remember what you do <laughs> but that's why i said let me get back live because it has been a lot of information and um i want that's what i'm saying maybe sometimes you got to stop do quality control check in let you guys know what i'm doing why i'm pushing out this information and let's be honest let's fucking be on it can we shh, i know it's at the end of the video people that don't you know watch the video all the way through because we're near the end of the video let's be honest they're just fucking jealous and they're fucking envious. And everybody's been running around talking about their mocha pocahontas. And here I am with me and getting grandchildren, my grandma's grandchildren, great grandchildren, great. I'm getting my great aunt's children and grandchildren in. I'm getting everybody, my, my sister finding family members that I totally forgot. I didn't even really some know some of these people exist. She making sure that they getting their Indian paperwork. They gonna be taken care of. That's a lot of black people we taken care of. So ask me what I'm doing for my community. Ask me what I'm doing for my family. You should never ask a black person what they're doing for their community. Ask what they're doing for their family. That's more important. So, only reason you're here... Oh, oh, wow, yay. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's on TikTok, everybody's on YouTube. So, we're still building on the TikTok. I'm going to make sure that I continue to share that news information. But sometimes, because the information I'm giving is so powerful... A lot of the times I um, have to stop and just kind of let that marinate. Let the, because now people are finding my videos because on one end you got Mexicans like mad at me, but they don't really, and then they be like, look, look at her video. And then everybody's like, ooh. And then people that relate to me, they're like, ooh, okay, what's she talking about? So most of the times when people are upset about what I say, um, most of the times they're just like, oh, you're actually promoting me to people that don't rock with you. So, so people got a choice at the end of the day. I'm living my truth. I ain't sitting out there in nobody's basement or on somebody's what? Some people, some people are on house arrest. It's so funny. So, yay. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm always on Facebook, but not always going live. Um, I think TikTok has the best live platform. And then I try to go on other social medias. I do like Fanbase, um, the audio base app, um, very similar to Clubhouse. So, and then give me some time because YouTube Live, I'm, maybe I'm just, maybe it's kind of like that Android user that's now using iPhone or, you know, and once you go from Joy to, you know, iOS, it's kind of like, You'd be confused. And there's just some variations, but it's pretty much probably still the same thing. But, um, yes, I love it. I'll probably start doing some more YouTube live. That might be fun, though. That might actually be fun. I should probably think about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. For some people, it's a hard pill to swallow. That's called cognitive dissonance. And really none of my concern. I don't think it's something I should really, you know, like be trying to cure for other people. Like, I can't sit around and be like, oh, the truth hurts, let me give you a serum. Oh, the truth hurts, let me, you know, here's some water for that hard pill to swallow. And hey, just, just get some Sprite. <laughs> Good luck with that. Get some ginger ale. I don't have time for that. Um, they're violent. A lot of these people that, um, this information, they try to hide it, they're violent. So we do have to be careful. Um, keep an eye on them and call it what it is. Um, stop calling it racism, sexism, ageism. It's terrorism. 
and terrorism is a fairly new term that is available for us to use but when you look at the tenets and the principles of what um constitutes as terrorism that's what our people have been facing since day one all they do that to their ancestors nothing to do with skin color this is all about wealth and land rights and economic value and political influence this is what this is all about and nothing more than that so thank you so much um to those that tune in and support the message please share this video with people that need some help to spell and submit i'll share it in the uh, black indian group probably gonna just upset them and they're probably gonna be crying all night and weeping into their pillows and and drinking their own tears but um i don't care um we got much more work to do we're just getting started so i like to tell people we're just getting started this is the tip of the iceberg i just wanted to stop take some time address those issues share this information give it some proper context and please be careful of engaging with the hybrids those are the people with the melanin deficiencies but with the jet black hair and it's very limp so make sure you don't get too involved with them um because then they show you their angry side and i said wow if your ancestors were that angry they should have defeated colonization go work on decolonizing go work on decolonization efforts and and stop treating africans who were supposedly enslaved as the enemy you would you would say who in their right mind let's say you're the native american and you're watching all this colonization and then you see neanderthals enslaving uh let's say let's call them africans and then you as a native american go look at the african and be like <laughs> would you would you the person that's killing robin stealing you oh yeah you turn down the trees all good with me shut up african Go show that resentment towards the descendants of colonization, the proprietors and the people that benefited from indigenous genocide. So look, watch the energy. Sometimes don't, don't matter what people say. Don't matter about the misinformation. Check the energy. What is energy saying? You're showing a lot of hate towards these brown people that are saying they're native. That's very remindful of colonization. That's the same hate that the conquistadors showed the Mayan and the Aztec. Very similar. And we got pictures that look like us and nothing that look like them. None of the murals in uh, Chiapas, Tennessee, Chalon, Bonapac, Mexico, looks like those people. None of the ancient codices, the indices, none of the um, writing in the family trees. Those were family trees y'all was looking at. Don't look like none of those people. And again, we're just at the tip of the iceberg. They really don't want to start discovering all the mountains because they got to take the information and make sense of it and release it at the time. So take the information from people and news sources um, that, and institutions that you can trust, organizations that you can trust, media outlets that you can trust, publishers that you can trust, accounts and channels that you can trust. And... Um, I always say, since when did black people lie about what they're doing to us? I'm just like, what is with the, all the mistrust? You trust the people who are known liars, like the DeSantis of the world, and have shown no ethics. They get all the high praise because you see that money. That money makes you think that lie is real. Why do so many people believe the, the myths and the lies? Because it has a fiat currency behind it. Ooh, that's a revelation right there. The Olmec. And there's a, a civilization that predates the Olmec. It's called the Corral Civilization. Let me help you out there. And we're going 3,600 BC. So yes, there is a, a, a group that's much older even than the Olmec. Olmeca. And that is the Corral Civilization. See how that just rolls off? And we can even get to the Palenque eventually. Yeah, you see it there? Hopefully you see it. So we're winding down. We're getting ready for another work week. Sometimes I just got to dump that information so you all are ready to receive new information. I'm telling a lot of you all, start digging into your family's genealogy and ancestry. Check into those Cherokee, Muscogee, Chickasaw, Choctaw, whatever you've heard, Seminole check into it seminole check into it the Cimarrones, the, the shit come on the maroons the moors the indigenous people depicted 
as Moors were really indigenous Americans, 1724, Dresden Castle, Green Vault Museum, and their um, correction of the misnaming of ancient artifacts and other treasures. Let that be um, a further proof. So the thing is, is like the information that I'm sharing is being um, welcomed. The information I'm sharing is, is saying, oh, it makes sense now. For a lot of scientists, the lie wasn't made. You know how you ever call somebody? Have you ever called somebody in a lie? And it just doesn't be making sense and it doesn't add up and yeah. That's what's happening here. So now the scientists are finally like, this story about black people being indigenous makes so much more sense as opposed to six million slaves being transported to the Caribbean. Because ain't nobody got no slave ships or no records of no ports. All right, check the port. I tell everybody, check those ports. What port did slavery come in through? So you got Ghana saying it left from the dungeon and the uh, doom. That is an amusement park. They didn't turn that into a whole tourist attraction. That ain't nothing but a tourist attraction. So if they left from Ghana due the, for the Portuguese involvement and only people that speak Portuguese over here is Brazil, explain to me what port, what was the port that they took them to? And you might have one in Brazil, then tell me at what point did this port open up to North America, namely the United States after 1776. It did not happen. It just simply did not happen. So we'll talk about that, dispelling the transatlantic slave. I think that's going to be like my next campaign is dispelling the transatlantic slave trade, which I think so many people have already done. And some people are like, oh, slavery didn't happen. They give you these little hats. And I'm like, zero tolerance. Absolutely did not happen. Absolutely did not happen. And in fact, your black Creole ancestors were the slave owners. If you really want to talk about it. If you really want to talk about it, a lot of y'all black... Y'all think, I keep telling you, y'all think y'all got these surnames from white slave owners. Well, your black ancestor was a slave owner. So now everybody's trying to twist this up. Oh, no, 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 baby. They were listed as slave owners. Not everybody black was listed as slave owners. You could be black and, and, and free and have no slaves. A lot of black people own slaves. So, yeah, um, be careful out there. It's going down. It's going down. Check in with me. Stay tuned. People are pissed. I don't care. Thank you so much for tuning in. Check out my content. Uh, I'm Lady Lila Brown. I'll put that in the comments on TikTok. Right? Good evening. Have a great work week. Um, I'm signing off. This is May 2023. Log in. Bye.